my morning routine is sacred. I wake up at about five-ish in the morning. Um, naturally, I've always been an early morning person and it's the most peaceful time of the day. Uh, Rocco is definitely not a baby that embraced the idea of a full night's sleep. Finally, I think he started sleeping through at about 11 or 12 months and um, when I got my full night of sleep back as well, it made me realise how important sleep is to be able to function emotionally, physically and mentally on a day-to-day -day basis. So when Rocco wakes up, it's straight into bed with me for morning cuddles and um, it's such a nice way to start the day together. Then we're down to the park with the dogs. And they get to run around and we get to chat to all the people from the community and other dog lovers and dog owners. So I'm actually a financial advisor and I've been running my own practice, SAS Financial, um, for nine years now. Recently, I decided in my spare time to set up a YouTube channel called Sugar Mama TV. And it's essentially a educational platform for women to learn about the importance of looking after yourself financially. That passage into parenthood is a very special one and it's pretty overwhelming when you're holding this like amazing, precious, bundle in your arms and you just want everything that you can possibly give to them. My top three financial tips for mothers are number one, maintain a family budget. You should really know where your um, the family expenses are going and it definitely gives you a great sense of control. Number two tip, your superannuation. It's so easy when you become a mother um, to just completely neglect, particularly your superannuation account. And my third, it's really important that you stop and you take a bit of sanity money for yourself. So if you're running a family budget, um, make sure you keep some sanity money for yourself.